Hello guys, Mr. Orange here, and welcome back to the bunker. So, we're currently inside of this office building here, and we're just gonna explore here and check out this tape recorder here, because looks like we can touch it or do something with it. And also, we're gonna check out this very old Commodore-looking computer there, so we're gonna check that out in a second. But first, let's go here towards this tape recorder here, because uh, maybe something interesting is gonna happen Dad, here. Okay, that's very interesting. So, looks like they were trying to find someone here in this building, or uh, someone got lost here in this building. So, okay, that's interesting. But let's check out this computer here. So, yeah, it's actually a Commodore. That's amazing. Like, you don't see that often. These computers just, you know, still run. Like, I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, surprised that this, uh, this computer works even. So, regional reports. Let's check that out. So, I think those are different, like bunkers from other. Um, from, I think different countries or like different bunkers here in the in the area. So let's see. We have Perks uh, RGS H1. So uh, re so 29th of Mar uh, March 1980. Actually 1989. I think actually I don't know what I'm saying. But if you cannot see Rad Breach, that means radiation breach actually uh, penetrated the this building here. So okay, that's that's already pretty bad. Uh, thing that happened in this bunker. And then we have here uh, 19 19th of July 80. Uh, eight, I think 1998, I think that said right, July. It says goodbye generating fuel V low. So I think that means very low. So uh, oxen drift. So I think those are all like bunkers from um, that literally like just, just got destroyed or something happened with it. So I think we might be the only bunker still alive with all the resources and all that stuff. And if I'm maybe wrong about that, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to like kind of understand what it's all about. But I think those are the bunkers who kind of failed and all that stuff. So if you cannot see 4 8 uh, air uh, system failure, so uh, yeah, some of the bunkers kind of failed. But um, let's check medical reports. That could be maybe interesting. So date 19, uh, 14 October, uh, October 1969 or 1996, if I said that right. Uh, the C's, Taylor Vera, oh, I know this person, uh, okay, a age 64, damn, that's a old person, uh, cause of death unknown, autopsy inclusive, okay, that's, that's kind of scary, so date 12 November 1996, uh, the C's, Hurley Carroll, or Elizabeth, uh, 30, so age of, age of 32, cause of death, um, Acute gastrointestinal something something failure, possible radiation sickness. Ooh, that's uh, that doesn't sound that great. But I, I, I can't. I'm sorry if I have kind of read this uh, wrong. Like I'm not a great reader, so my apologies if I didn't read this right or all of that stuff. But okay, let's just check this uh, personal log. Maybe that could be interesting. So personal log. Um, so Collins Sam, date 19 December 1996. It's going to be fine, okay? So maybe fine isn't the right way, the, uh, the the right word. But we have enough supplies to make it through. I'm sure of it. So if we can just keep it together and be sensible or something like that with the radiation, uh, with, with the rations, then we can make it. Sure, none of us are going to get that that fat down <laughs> down here. But I could get you. I could. Get, I could use losing a few pounds of a weight. Sam, really? Like, don't be ridiculous. I know you can use lose some pounds, but it's kind of important to eat something. But also, sorry if I read this kind of uh, very badly for you guys out there. But if you guys wanted to read, just pause the video and all that stuff. So, uh, okay, no, nope. <laughs> I'm just gonna get out of this. Okay, we already know this. So, uh, let me just go back here. Uh, we have here some miscellaneous stuff here. Okay, things and miss. Okay, so, uh, ex uh, so, oh. The things I okay, so the things I miss: eggs and chips, having a bath, my bed, a warm sun on my on my uh, neck, a grass, chocolate, and I think I don't know what is that, but if you guys know that, <laughs> I don't know. But okay, things I, I things hate: uh, sadness and the the 
burnt s the, the bunker smell and level 5. What does that mean? Oh, it's maybe like a level in the bunker that's level 5? That could be interesting. Okay, let's just exit out of this computer. We already spent all of our time here on this computer, so sorry if I kind of read the things wrong and all that stuff, but okay. Communication from Bunker HQ, Site 3, Caution, Wiltshire. Prime Minister delivered safely before blast hits. 4,013 government ministers and civil servants, including cabinet office, local and national government agencies, intelligence and security advisors logged in. Shortage noted in domestic support staff. Guess they didn't make it. All facilities operating normally. Checks carried out in infirmary, bakery, laundry, kitchens, telephone exchange, storerooms, office space, living accommodation, maintenance areas and workshops. How big is that place? Trust me, you can send this sardine tin. Prime Minister unsatisfied with living accommodation. Twat. <laughs> Other. Civilian casualties noted outside bunker. A group of 50 attempted to breach rear exit blast door. Aggressive action not required. Activity ceased after blast. Poor bastards. Damn, okay. That's interesting. So it's like a little top secret little um, thingy here. Okay, so can I exit out of this? Okay, so there you go. Okay, I didn't mean to take that. Okay, let me just close out of this and... Okay, so that's interesting. So a lot of people already want to attack this bunker somehow. Or I think I think they tried to attack us. I don't know if I said that wrong. Communication or, oh, no, 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 from no, no, Bunker HQ. Okay, I don't want to read this, but where do I have to go next? Oh, right there. Okay, so let's go towards there. Uh, okay, don't say something is going to happen here. No, no, no. You better not. You better not. I have a feeling that something's gonna happen here. Maybe not? Okay, no, nothing happened. Okay, so there's nothing here that we can see. Doesn't look like it, except for two, these two doors that we can go inside here. But we will check that out. Uh, what is that? Is that a map or radiation warning map? Okay, so we are right now at level two. So th this is the main office. Then we have the... Oh, electrical. I think we have to... Re that's true. We have to replace that fuse right there. So... We're gonna go towards that area, but first we're gonna check out these two offices, and uh, there also there was a log that was saying um, that someone hated that level. Oh, the cooling system and the sewage. Yeah, I kind of hate that place also. <laughs> when it's uh, if they're talking about sewage and cooling system, it's not a great place. But if you can't see, there's also a um, an emergency uh, path here. Okay, and then here's the exit of this bunker. So you have to go all the way down here, take the stairs, and uh, and exit out of the bunker. Okay. Interesting. Um, can we actually go? Okay. No, I didn't mean to go to the power, but let's actually check out this place because um, maybe there's something interesting here. Uh, can I just... Okay. No, I didn't mean to actually go inside of that building, but we can maybe check out. Maybe there's something interesting here. Danger. Live electricity equipment. Um, anything in these drawers here that we can see? Only open one a drawer at a time. Okay. Okay, it looks like a lot of cables here. There's not a lot to see here. <laughs> Except for a lot of good stuff. All that cables and all that stuff. Here, what, what is inside that drawer? Please, something useful. Ooh, some very old destroyed records. Okay. I like that. I really like that. But also, is there like a, is there not like an option where we can actually like turn down the music a little bit? Because I find it to be a little bit too loud. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm maybe going to change it in the next video like if I can do that because... Uh, I find the music in the game to be a little bit too loud. Oh, wow, okay. With the greatest respect, sir, we've been up all night. It's been 10 minutes since I had to cover Vera's face. But and is I... it radiation I don't sickness? know yet. The nearest proper lab is under 10 tons of radioactive rubble, and I have to make do with a microscope. It's all right, George. We'll run some tests, Mr. Bishop. Is anyone else showing signs? Yes, six others. Quarantine them right away. No, 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 no. Mom? Oh, no. Oops. It's all right. Come here, love. What's the matter? I can't sleep. It's all right. You know if you stay in your room, you'll be safe. I'll give it a tick. Damn, her mom looks very different. Okay. Uh, I don't like it here. Well, I bet you don't like it here, but we have to be here because... Actually, what is that? Commissioner. Oh! 
Commissioner. Oh, we found like a little uh, co collectible here. So no one likes this one. <laughs> Look at that mad face. Okay, we found a toy. It's called the Commissioner. Okay, well, <laughs> no one likes that person. Like very mad face. But okay, um, what can we do here? Oh, there's a locker here. Let's let's open the locker. An empty locker. Oh, well, that's convenient. We can't really do much about it except we can maybe play something in there. Maybe something useful. But um, apart from that, uh, what are those TVs? Name. Look at those TVs. Vitrus. I think that's uh, the company of who made this kind of TV. Or is it, is it a TV? I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, looks like every, everything seems to be fine here. I don't see any ghosts just passing by and just doing stuff here. Okay, well, I'll just turn off that because that's kind of wasting power. But, uh, let's see. Oh, can we actually use this microphone? <gasps> oh, yes, we can! Attention. The mains power is about to be switched off for maintenance purposes. <laughs> you just had to do that. There's nobody here in this, uh, in this bunker, but you're still gonna say it, so, uh, yeah, what is that, packet bell? What is that, like, can we actually use this computer? <gasps> yes, we can, okay, let's use this computer here, so, let's see, maybe, okay, so, let, 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 what do we have here, it's 12th of October, 1986, or, I think that's a little bit different, but, made by F.W. Hurley, so, wearing a brown, um, uh, res res residue around the bulkhead seals, so, uh, B7.1, and then B7.4, uh, underscore 9, or something like that, and then B7, and then 12, all that stuff. Don't know what to do about, uh, okay. I don't know what to do about this one. Rubber compound shouldn't be, a uh, pr precising yet. Indicate coarsen from something it's in the contact with. Okay, sorry if I'm saying I'm I'm so bad at reading today, guys. I'm sorry, but unless the cowboys used to cottage cheese instead of uh, VX compound, which give how which uh, give him given how the rest of the, this place is uh, built would be unlo unlikely. Response by C Bishop. Nothing we can do to replace the seals. <laughs> Damn, Bishop is a little bit of a he's a very lazy guy. He's not gonna replace the seals. Come on, you, you're a really lazy person. Okay, let's go towards the next one. Oh, no. We have so much stuff to read. Okay, um, uh, can we actually read this uh, somewhere differently? Oh, okay, there, that's a little bit easier, or I don't know if I want to do this. Okay, made by FM Hurley again. Rear bulkhead dream next to the recycling unit in uh, 15 showed stress fracturing throughout paint surface. Two private looses welded by, by looks like similar progressing in pr uh, roof beams two and three along a adjacent wall uh, adjusted walls pj says not near structurally issue okay i'm real I, I kind of don't like this uh thing you here okay there you go that's a little bit better but if it flexes anymore it might spring the seals loose and we could be a, in a rat in a radiation trouble best we can do is from foam seal uh sealant but we're running low or low R seals or something like that. We're running lo lower on that stuff of uh, A15 completely. Response by Bishop again. Gone through uh, drawings with uh, PJ Frank. Can't waste foam told Frank to f install uh, additional uh, gearing. In A15 so we we have warning of a radiation breach. Okay, well that's an an another thingy here. Oh wow, we have more stuff to read here. <laughs> okay, so unexpected moisture in C12. PJ says might be considering from the filter system, but one of them purifying lines runs right behind that wall. Worry that we we might have a leak in the water system. Requires permission to shut down the system and take off the, the wall panels between C12 and C13. Took a, took a look into it. The hopefully ho took a look in it in it and hopefully can we fix it that way tr uh, trouble is if if there's a leak higher up higher up we can't get into the exam it and because of the ceiling there is not a lot of solid weld okay sorry if I'm saying this wrong but at the same time trying to do my best here so Bishop filter sp uh, space sheet says consideration can be caused by by rapid warm and cooling of the filter system no cause for consideration really bishop is really a kind of a dick like i just have to put, put that out okay god save us oh queen uh, god, uh, queen save us or something like that what was that what was i gonna i actually want to see that again okay sorry I'm, if i'm going back here but uh, i just want to see what was that again 
Come on, go faster, computer. You can do this. What, what did this actually say there? Like, sorry, but, uh, God save the queen. Oh, okay. It's, uh, it's pretty dark right there. But, uh, anything here that we can check out? Oh, we have this paper here. Uh, update roster. Uh, okay, I can't really read that. Let's read. Um, commissioner. That's bishop. Okay. Uh, science officer. Uh, Nicholas. Look at the name. Turner Nicholas. <laughs> okay, so, um... Let's see, we have here uh, the Blackmore, Annabelle skills, all that stuff. Engineer. Well, it looks, I think it's actually a list of all the people who can do all this stuff, or the people that have to do this stuff, uh, just to do all that stuff, or... I don't know what I'm saying, but let's say the, all these people here have, like, a specific thing to do in this in this vault, and they have to do it, because otherwise, uh, the vault's not gonna stay up here. And, okay, can I just go back here? There you go. So, finally... Wow, okay, sorry if my reading skills aren't the greatest, but, um... Yeah, we basically have explored this whole thingy right here, and now we're gonna go back here and take a look at this other little place here. So let's just open this door. Okay. So what is this here? Um, is it like a classroom? Well, let's say, for example, the hit on Reading was one megaton. That would mean we have this radius, only halfway to Basingstoke. Now maybe that looks small, but that's around 100,000 fatalities. Maybe 80,000 injuries from the blast and the fireball. That's just to start with. Prevailing wind direction here is northeast. Fallout scatter would be huge. It's likely to drift all the way out past Cambridge, past Norwich even, out to sea. The total number of casualties? Unimaginable. And that's one bomb. One bomb? Really? Damn. Like, they, have dro they haven't dropped a bomb in Belgium! No! Why do you want to bomb Belgium? He's like the most- Like, Belgium is like the most neutral country ever. Why do you want to do that? You just want to bomb the Netherlands, and you need to bomb Germany, and also you the United Kingdom. Why do you want to do that? Damn, even Ireland. That that's- uh, Why? Okay, I'm still kind of curious why did they, did, did they get bombed. Oh, those of the- uh, I think those are like the doses of radiation. So if you cannot see, 1 to 75 is um, virtually no short of term of effect. Some of, uh, no some nausea. So if you cannot see, 75 and 150 is like some nausea and all that stuff. And then we have 150 and then 250. Nausea and vomiting with two 24 hours. Some uh, impactable, okay, some impositions after two days. Some uh, mortality, ooh. It's really bad. And what is over 600? A, um, immediately north, uh, mortality in one week. Damn. In one week. So we cannot see. Radiation is a very, uh, very dangerous. Thing. Also, we have here LTD 50. So, uh, it's basically they're trying to, uh, trying to say what, what is the effects on, um, the radiation on humans that we cannot see up there. So, uh, interesting. Uh, we have a book here. AB welcomes. CB asks clarification purpose of meeting. AB puts forward petition from 18 residents keen to institute post of morale officer. It is felt that CB is not forthcoming enough in communicating current status of bunker to residents. CB makes point that any urgent change in status will be communicated very clearly to all residents when it becomes relevant. In his view, no need for a new position. AB cites two safety incidents and asks committee if they were aware. All but FH, DM, SC are unaware of said incidents. CB says neither incident is cause for immediate concern. No need to raise panic in difficult atmosphere. Calls on FH to clarify incidents. FH agrees not of immediate concern. AB raises point that lack of trust in bunker hierarchy is causing morale issues. More clarity and openness needed. CB reiterates appointed hierarchy and his belief that no need for additional officer. If any critical incident comes to light, all will be made aware. Request sent to meeting as urgent business to attend to. AB calls for vote on appointment of morale officer. CB says vote will be ignored. Not a democracy. Meeting ended. Oh, so it's like, I think this was, was I think this was a classroom at one point, so they were like reading, they were literally teaching these like, People, all that stuff, all this, all these, um, thingy, CB, like, all the codes, like, the code names or something like that, but, okay, like, this classroom was fairly interesting back then, so let me just go back here. So, I think this was some kind of classroom to, like, 
to like learn about the, the let's say the effects of radiation and, and then show what happened I'll just use this tape recording here I just need to know it's all right Vera nonsense I know George is trying to hide things from me I'm ill Evelyn I'm not stupid I'm right aren't I I don't know what to say I suppose he's just not it's sure radiation why is he trying to hide it? Why? Am I on the right medicine? What can be done? Why won't he say? George has been distracted lately. Maybe he's just trying not to upset everyone. They should be upset. They built this place in six weeks. Six weeks! How can anyone expect it to be safe? There must be a leak. There must be. Mr. Bishop says I that it's... I know what he says. He doesn't want everyone to panic. Silly old Vera having another one of her turn... <coughs> Okay, so I think that was her mom like talking about the radiation or some something like that, but Yeah, it actually got pretty bad that people were literally vomiting blood in the middle of, the, of this little class That's just terrifying. Okay, let's go back to this power because we basically have explored Everything here in this building in the in this office building here, but also my apologies if I have not read it uh, that I That my reading skills are not that great today but I'm going to do my best, so I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Like, I hope you guys are not disappointed about me. But, uh, yeah. Uh, can we actually open this? Yes, we can. Is that, I think that's the, um, the power. Oh, are those the fuses? That actually looks like a fuse. Yeah, he, he seems to be a little bit surprised. Um, let's see. So, is there actually... What can we do here? Can we... Is there anything in this box? Is that, is that a fuse? That actually it's looks... A replacement. Oh, I thought we had to find the fuse, but that was the most easiest thing to do. Okay, so what do we have to do here? So I think we maybe have to close the power. Oh, I see. So first we have to bring the power. We first have to, oh no, what do we have to do here? Uh, okay, we have to bring that towards here. Okay. Uh oh, that's pretty bad. Okay. Replace damaged fuse. Well, okay, I already know that, but damn, this part, this place got pretty dark. Uh, so, oh no, we have to. Oh no, what was it again? I think it was three D A or F C three. I think that was the one that was broken. Maybe. Was that this one was broken? Yes, it is. Yeah, it looks like worn now. It looks like very destroyed. So, okay, let's just replace. I can switch the, the power one. back on now. Yeah, now you can switch it on because now we have replaced it. So let's go back here. And now we're gonna go back here and turn on the thingy, the, the, the lever here, to turn on the, pa the power on. So I think we have fixed it, so that's a good thing. So that was a fairly successful uh, run. Okay, where's it going to? Buddy, where are, you going? where are you heading to? Okay, so I think we basically have done our job here. So, looks like we, we can just go back here and then just move on because... Uh, I think we basically have uh, explored everything in, the, in this uh, in this building. So there you go. We're just gonna go back here. Okay. So he's like looking around so many times. So uh, I don't feel right about this. But that doesn't uh, sound good. Oh, what is that? I think I heard something. What was that? Oh no. Why is the camera zooming in? Are we gonna get attacked by something? Hello. Oh no. Please don't get attacked by something. <laughs> Calm down, buddy. I hear you hard. <sighs> Sit down, sit down. Okay, he's not, he's not calm. Well, looks like he's again on drugs. Sit down, buddy. No, no, no. Okay, so it looks like he doesn't want to go downstairs here. So can we actually go upstairs here? Can we do that? Yes, we can. Okay, let's just, just go upstairs. Just run because you looks like you're not feeling that great. And, uh... I don't want you to pass out in the middle of this bunker. It would be fairly bad. Okay, there you go. Come on, just go inside there. Go inside of your little private room. Okay. What just happened? Like, he literally went out of the office building. Then he, he like, literally went crazy. He didn't want to go down there. What, what just happened? Like... 
Okay, I hope he's fine. Like, I hope nothing bad is gonna happen towards him. Please be okay. Please be okay. Hey, you better be okay. But, uh... Something doesn't sound that great here. But, okay, let's just, let's just take a sit here on this computer. And what I'm going to be doing here is we're gonna end this video right here. So, we're gonna check the computer in the next video. But also, my apologies at, at my reading skills... My, you know, my apologies at my reading skills weren't that great today. Like, I'm really doing my best. Like, I'm not saying that my English is my main language. So... Sorry guys, like Siri, like, okay, why am I saying Siri? Like, I'm not talking to an iPhone, but I'm very sorry guys, so I hope maybe the next time I'm gonna read a little bit better. But apart from that, so what I'm going to be doing here is end up this video right here. So it would be amazing if you could give this video a like, it'd be very, very appreciative of you. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye!